Hey guys, welcome back to my first ever concept design video and in this video we are going to be predicting all of the Utah's cards and their skill boost and skill moves. And this concept design video is made with the help of my friend Iron who made this amazing cards for me, great editor. So make sure to check him out on Twitter, I've given the link down in the description below. Make sure to check him out. Let's move on to the video. First up we got our first starter that is Robert Lewandowski comes with a heel to heel and attacking skill boost. Hope he doesn't mess up with the space. And second card is Leno Messi again heel to heel and second striker skill boost. Pretty straightforward guess second striker cause camps mostly get that skill boost. Then Romelu Lukaku comes with a long shot skill boost to boost up with his acceleration just to make him an overpowered card. Next 104 rated card is Kylian Mbappe Comes with an heel to heel and agility skill boost He'll have a max anti stun and heel to heel if he gets it Then the best card in the game Then Kevin De Bruyne comes with a finishing skill boost And heel to heel of course Cause heel to heel is the overpowered skill move in this game currently It's so overpowered guys Can't change it Then Bruno Fernandes again heel to heel I just love the heel to heel to be honest and comes with the second striker skill boost, pretty obvious. Our only 103 chain pack starter that is Erling brought Holland. And Holland and heel to heel are inseparable right now. Cause most of his cards came with flip flap, that is embarrassing. And he comes with a long shot skill boost. Hope he gets heel to heel. And then Yano Black comes with a general skill boost. Cause lots of his cards has other skill boosts like number one reflexes. So I just gave him a GK general skill boost. And then Shao Cancelo comes with a destroyer skill boost uh, to boost up his acceleration obviously. And time for our Premier League player of the season. Ruben Diaz comes with a destroyer skill boost. I just guessed it cause last year's Van Dyke 1 or 2 got destroyer skill boost and was the most difficult defender to get past in the game. And then Stefan De Vrij. I don't know why he got U-Touch in the console, I just added him just because he was in the console U-Touch and he, I gave him a reaction skill boost, pretty straightforward cause Diaz got destroyer and then Theo Hernandez comes with a captain skill boost to boost up his acceleration and strength, he will be the best left back in the game if he gets this card. And the moment you have been waiting for, U-Touch Cristiano Ronaldo comes with a heel to heel and attacking skill boost. I just guess attacking cause last day he got the same and man if this guy gets heal to heal then that will be the best card in the game mark my words and probably the most exciting card I'm waiting for Neymar with advanced rainbow and finishing skill boost last day he got finishing skill boost as well and Neymar and advanced rainbow are inseparable things too and then I had some crazy ideas and I just made this card Varan with the pace skill boost yeah pace he already is pace he, he guy has one, 123 pace and if he gets the pace skill boost then we are gonna have a tough time in game another crazy idea Harry Kane with the speed skill boost just a uh, pretty straightforward cause if any tank striker get the pace on them then that will be really tough time for the defenders then Marquinhos comes with the pace skill boost as well and um, he comes with Erling Haaland in the chain pack of uh, that middle player pack if, if you know what I'm saying right and then a small to Salah comes with the heel to heel as well and second striker skill boost our fast right wing with second striker it'll be really great if we have him on the game and then Yori Alaba comes with the captain skill boost same as Theo Hernandez it'll be really great he'll boost up its strength and acceleration coming to the last set of cards of u on the game that is Luke Shaw comes with a marking skill boost pretty straightforward skill boost guess and then we move on to Manuel Noya comes with a reflex skill boost and he has long thrower obviously it'll be a great GK if you have him on your squad 
and then last set of cards that is 98 rated cards young min san left wing comes with the rainbow skill move and finishing skill boost that will be really great to have him and then last card that is 98 rated card bamba comes with the rainbow skill move and second striker similar to mane and we have event icon nesta i hope he gets a card on the u touch he'll be the u touch milestone you'll have to claim one u touch starter and one u touch reserve in order to claim him and then we have prime icon pele you'll have to claim any of the seven u touch starters in order to claim him of course his stats will be insane everything will be 140 minimum and that is it for the video guys i hope you guys like my ideas and if you want the ronaldo card to, with heel to heel to happen just like my video every like improves the likeliness of the card to happen hopefully i don't know that is it uh, thanks for watching the video till the end and that's it guys i'll end my video with some bang and head to head goals with my previous player reviews and that's it thanks for watching till the end i'll see you guys next time